had a really good week. Um, so this week, what we're going to be doing is going into the thoughts and feelings of your person. Now, I've got two brand new decks. These are Cairo, Ma Cairo Marchetti's decks. Um, when I was at the virtual WDA, the World Divination Association conference the other week, um, we kind of met him um, and I just I fell in love with his decks. Like, it, they made me quite emotional. So I ended up investing in two of them for the channel. These are ones you can't get on Amazon. So if you are interested in these decks, you need to go to his website. Um, this one is called the Encore Tarot and this one is literally the Marchetti Tarot. So as I'm showing you these, go to the deck that you were drawn to first of all. Number one, number two. And as you are drawn to the deck, I want you to really feel your emotions and your heart energy. Think about your person. And if when you think about them, feel the emotions within your heart and feel it pushing into the deck that you are most drawn to. And if you can't feel it, just visualize it. You can think of pink colors, green colors. Both those colors are uh, good for heart-centered energy. Okay, number one, number two. Let's do this. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances, which is why we go into all your people's energy and pull out the strongest energy between you all. And if you ever did averages at school, it would be like when you added all the numbers together and then it pulled out the average. That's essentially how, how we read, we being me and my guides. Whenever I say we, it always mean me and my guides. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their persons, thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? And let's also do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of your person. Okay, so the first thing that's kind of coming through my right ear um, is you were always on my mind. I can't remember who sang that. It's quite an old one, but you were always on my mind. You were always on my mind. So... We know straight away that your person, um, as your collective energy, your person is always thinking about you. You are always on their mind. Now, your person's spirit is saying before I even go into the cards, your person is very good at distancing themselves, perhaps from those emotions, um, that they can hide behind a barrier. They don't always act on their emotions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but it's really coming to the forefront that even though they might not be handling the situation in the best way, or you guys might not be in contact, or things might be a little bit rocky at this moment in time, you are always on their mind. So let's get into their thoughts first. Can I have five cards for what their person is thinking about them? We're going to do five for thoughts, five for feelings. What are they thinking about their person? Two. Yeah, it's going really clearly. You are always on my mind. What are they thinking about their people watching? Four. Five. And what are they feeling about the people watching? I just love these decks. They're just so beautiful. What are they feeling about the person? Now, it's really interesting that just in their thought processes, you've got two major arcana and then you've just got three pentacles. Okay, so you haven't got much diversity really in, in the top set of cards. It's all about logic, um, security, stability, etc., etc. What are their feelings about the people watching? I'll explain more in a second. Let me just concentrate. Four and one more. Five. Okay, so your person in their thought process, they have potentially worked a lot um, on the stability side of this situation. Some of them have been more drawn to logic than acting on their emotions. And again, when they have, um, like Spirit said at the start, you were always on my mind, they are, can be very, very good at detaching themselves from their emotions for you. Now, it doesn't mean that that is substantial evidence that they are not um, thinking about you or anything like that. They're just very good at brushing it under the carpet um, and not dwelling on it. They've got very good avoidance behavior. You know, they don't have to think things through. They don't have to act on uh, their emotions. And that's what they choose to do. So in their thought process towards you, they do care about you, very much care about you. But at the moment, they're acting more on the stability, the logical side of things and the security side of things. They're feeling that this relationship between the two of you has been a little bit temperamental. It's little been a little bit up in the air, a little bit, I just saw an octopus as I was doing that, a little bit tentacly, a little bit on... Um, 
wavering you know it's been a bit of a wavering relationship and that's what the tentacles are symbolizing it's this kind of wavering relationship that you might feel that you don't know whether you're coming or going you might feel like you haven't tied your shoelaces before you left the house you don't really know what is going on in this situation and that's because your person isn't letting you into their emotions so they're seeing this situation from a very stable point of view and through that stability this is when they hide from their emotions now they are still clinging on to the situation with you so even if you guys have come to a close and you're like oh god i haven't seen them i haven't spoken to them we're not in contact they are still very much clinging on to the situation they are looking at this present moment they're staying very focused on this present moment so they're not looking at stuff that's happened in the past between you guys they're not necessarily looking at where the future is going they are focusing right here right now on the present moment and that present moment is them still clinging on to the situation so you have different aspects of this you have them thinking about you all the time you have them acting on logic and stability rather than their emotions but at the same time you have them still clinging on to the situation spirit are really clearly saying in my right ear the word hope okay so your person still and you guys have still got hope that this situation is going to unfurl in the right way that you want it to it looks like you guys have been stuck in a little bit of a cycle that you haven't really been sure what's actually going on and um even though this relationship on a whole has been generally okay there has been times when you're feeling that you've been betrayed or let down or they haven't done something perhaps in the way that you would like them to and it's left you feeling a little bit confused and stuck now there is a happy side to this as well it's very much duality in their thoughts towards you so the one side of things they have this very love-based heart-centered energy which they are avoiding the other side they have this logical side of things and through that both through both of those in, um, aspects you have this kind of um, spikes coming down, this potential that this relationship has caused a lot of hurt and pain from things in the past. And this is why your person is very much focusing on their present, on the present moment. You guys have been stuck in this cycle, as we're saying. Um, now, a lot of you watching your cycle will have come to a close. Um, and if it hasn't come to a close and you're not in contact and you're like, oh my God, what's happening? That period of no contact is coming to a close. So there's two sides of this for you guys, the energy split in two. If you're not in contact, your period of no contact is coming to a close. Um, if you have been stuck in a cycle, that cycle is going to be coming to a close. But don't fret because their emotions are still there for you. Um, but they know that this situation has got to change. They know that they haven't been treating you right. They know that they haven't been handling handling the situation very well they know that they've been seeing it from their perspective only and not from your perspective as well and it's left this kind of blinkered energy coming forward so they've been quite blinkered in their thoughts towards you and um, they are hoping that this relationship is going to work out okay and um, they know for this to happen that they have got to act on their emotions a little bit more but again this is something in their thought process that they're not choosing to do they're very much focused on stability and security and again with all you have to like i said you have the three pentacles at the in this in the first row of cards you have three pentacles so there isn't a you know the emotions they're backtracking on and they're hiding from the sexual energy can come to the forefront but that is more in their feelings for you and um, the swords are not here as well so that's kind of probably a good thing and um, but they are very much acting on this stable beginning okay now the other side of this spirit is saying is even though that perhaps they've hidden away from their emotions they can see that they want to be with you they can see that there is really good potential here for you guys um, and they want to make this relationship more secure as well so again there's another flip side to these thoughts and feelings they're very confused by it all you have them clinging on to the situation focusing on the present moment you have them breaking the cycle with you you have them wanting a new beginning and putting the past to bed and again focusing on the present moment you have it if you're not in contact you have the no contact coming to a close you have them acting more on the logical side of things you have them acting more on the stable side of things but that stability that's coming forward is what they want from this connection with you okay so your person wants this connection to become more stable like we said the cycle that you guys have been in you've had these tentacles it's been wavering up and down and now these tentacles are kind of starting to come in a little bit and the water around them is starting to flow okay so this relationship is going to be turning into a more flowy relationship than a stagnant stoppy starty thing um stagnant stoppy starty thing yeah that's exactly what spirit said a stagnant stoppy starty thing 
everything. It's going to start being more flowing between you all. Um, and it's not going to be out to sting you. And again, with these kind of spirit keeps showing me these tentacles, the clair clairvoyant tentacles. And what they're saying from that is kind of like the jellyfish. You always worry that if you're going to be swimming by the jellyfish, the so jellyfish's tentacles are going to come and sting you. This relationship is going to be going through a transformation period where this tentacles, stingy, jealousy, uh, negative side of things is going to be put to bed um, and you guys are going to be able to focus more on a stable new beginning. Your person does think about you, they, um, they do put their emotions to the side, they do not dwell on their emotions but the thought process towards you is still very much strong and very much evident, spirit saying it's evident in their energy um, and again I'm hearing you are always on my mind. So regardless of your situations they are still thinking about you, they're just acting more on the stability and security side of things at the moment than their emotions. If you've been pushing them to talk about their emotions you might find that they haven't been communicating about them. Again reason for that is because they are wanting this relationship to be more stable and with that stability they feel that they don't need to give you constant reassurance on how they are feeling about you and um, they want this to head in the right direction both of you are scared of getting hurt um, but they also know that they've kind of got to give it a chance okay that's where their thoughts are now let's move on to their feelings we have a bit of a mixed bunch with their emotions towards you so your person does love you there is no disputing that okay there is no disputing your person's love for you they sometimes again do not handle this situation well and you guys do mirror one another okay um so with the mirroring what happens um is that you guys will often go through the same experiences and the same thoughts and the same feelings over a situation but you will often see it from very different perspectives sometimes it can be the same perspective but other times it can be very different perspectives so for an example of that you might be thinking if we don't get this together soon um it's not going to work out between us and they might be thinking well if we come together too soon it's not going to work out between us and this is where this kind of mirroring energy is coming forward so you're both echoing onto one another you're both as well please don't take this the wrong way but you're both really kind of seeing it just from your perspective you're not seeing it from the other perspective um, of your person as well okay there is a need to gain perspective over this situation sometimes they might feel that you're smothering them sometimes they might feel that you you might feel that they are being cold and distant with you and again it's that mirroring energy because when things don't go the way uh, perhaps you would like it to go it can be put onto them about how they want it to go. So you might be loving them in the way that they want, that you want to be loved, and they might be loving you in the way that you they want to be loved. Let me re recount that, okay. Five Love Languages, it's a book. Really go and have a read of it if you haven't read it. It's really good. But it talks about how, as human beings, we love people in the way that we want to be loved, um, and the person or your partner or whoever it is, boyfriend, girlfriend, crush, they love you in the way that they want to be loved. And this can mean that there's a miscommunication with um, physical emotions and love, okay? So, for example, you might feel that you want to talk about it all the time. They might show you with actions and not words. So go and have a read of the five love languages. It's a really good book. I think it's by a guy called Gary someone. Um, really, really good book. It's really echoing that mirroring energy. So the love between the two of you is really strong. Sometimes potentially they can feel a little bit smothered by the situation. But again, don't take that the wrong way. There is a very strong sexual energy between the two of you coming forward. The passion is there. Um, it is non-disputable that this passion is there, Spirit is saying. It's very, very strong sexual chemistry between the both of you. And perhaps, again, this is part of the reason why you might feel that this relationship isn't moving forward in the direction that you would like. Sometimes your person will act on a more sexual energy than an emotional energy. And again, if we look at their thought process towards that, we know that's because they're trying to act on stability. So so if they focus on a more sexual energy, it doesn't get bogged down with the heaviness of the situation. It doesn't get bogged down with this kind of smothering energy. It still gives them space and allowance to kind of maneuver around you. So they have got this very strong sexual energy towards you, this very strong chemistry between you both. And they are really, really drawn to that spirit of saying the chemistry between the two of you is undeniable. Now with that, they know that they potentially hurt you or 
are currently hurting you from stuff from the past or in the present moment. Um, again, it's because they've been looking for the sense of freedom. Perhaps in this relationship, they've been feeling like if they give you too much, they're going to feel really bogged down, really tied into this connection with the two of you. And they do still want their freedom. They, they are quite a warrior based energy. You know, they're very strong, very powerful, very, um, alpha male slash alpha female remember never sexually orientated or gender specific but you have this very strong person very strong willed very strong connection very strong independence and they do worry that you know by coming into a relationship with you perhaps this isn't going to work out because they're not going to change they're not going to have a personality transplant they will stay stay in this kind of very strong energy and um, so they know for the two of you to come together to work towards the future they have to meet you in the middle and your person is a bit stubborn on that so that meeting in the middle isn't quite happening just yet their emotions for you are there they are just not acting on them. They're being in this strong sexual energy, this strong chemistry, wanting their freedom still. They're in this kind of warrior energy of this is going to be on my terms. You guys aren't really having a chance at calling the shots because they are calling the shots. And um, in a sense, they know, don't take this the wrong way again, but they know that they've got you kind of where they would like you because it's down to them what choices they make, what, what happens between you guys. And that is infuriating for you because you think we just hurry up and do something remember until your person commits to you you do not need to commit to them okay now with that being said their emotions are there for you they do care about you that we would even go as far to say they have got a love for you they love you they they like you they love you depending on your individual circumstances but at the same time they're frightened to death of losing the sense of uh, of freedom um, and integrity spirit are saying they want to be true to themselves they work very hard to be the person they are today stuff from child is coming up stuff with alcohol and drugs is coming up stuff with again addiction is coming up and potentially even gambling for a couple of you there has been this kind of energy coming forward of them going back to stuff that's happened when they were younger and they've worked really really hard hard to be the person they are today um, and they don't want to enter a relationship for the sake of it and lose everything they've worked towards so for this relationship to work between the two of you you have got to go at their speed and they have got to give you a little bit more than they have been giving you already we would really advise that you do read that book the five love languages because it's going to help you see things a little bit more from their perspective I'm not saying anyone's right or, or wrong in this. This is just the energy between you guys, okay? They, they, they want this stabi sta stability with you. They can see that you guys can have a secure, stable foundation for this to build a future. They are still hong holding on to that holding on to that. They're still holding on to the fact that you guys can have this stable unit with one another. Um, but with that, they've got to kind of get out of their own way. You know, they're the ones that are blocking this and blocking this connection. Like the outcome of it at the moment is if you go at their speed, this can work out in your favour. But you, you have to go at their speed and really try not to smother them. And know that that can be hard because when you're not getting what you want from them, you will go to them and, and seek reassurance from them to see how they're feeling and see what's going on. And that can put you in a difficult position, you know. Both of you are scared of getting hurt again. Um... But your person is more scared of them, you wanting to change them, you know, because, again, they've worked very hard to be the person they are to get today. They don't want to change. They won't change. They're not going to have a personality transplant. You will have to know that the person uh, for you guys to come together, this is going to be the person that you met when you originally met them. You know, you don't want to get into your someone else's mini and cut off your arms and legs and find out that you've lost yourself. You know and um, what I mean by that, you know, someone comes, knocks on the door and says, hey. You want to go on the relationship of your life and you come out the door and you're like, yeah, 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 I want to go on the relationship of my life, um, of your life, sorry. Then you go and get in their mini and you, you go along the road and they're driving and as you know, you're driving along the path with them, you realise that your arms aren't fitting so you cut your arms off. They say, oh, okay, how's the relationship with my life going? Um, and you are, you are changing yourself to be with them. So by the end of the road, 
you've literally cut your arms and legs off to get in their money and go in the relationship of their life. They are scared of that happening. They don't want to change. Please don't try and change them because if you do that, you will push them into a corner and it, it will not work out between the two of you. There is a freedom associated with this. You guys have both got to be in allowance and acceptance that this is the person that you fell in love with. And they have too, you know, they've got to be in acceptance and allowance that you are the person that they fell in love with. And for that, you guys can make it work. You know, it's not all doom and gloom. It just needs this, this strong balance kind of coming up. You know, there's fears of being hurt in the past, fears of freedom being substituted, fears of um, it's not actually going to work out because they're not giving you what it is that you want, you know, and but deep down in their thought process, they can see that this has got really good potential. It's just that they're very scared of allowing their emotions to come up to the surface. They're scared of getting burnt. Um, so if you guys have not been in communication, that communication is going to be coming back in. If you guys are currently involved in this situation, try take your foot off the gas a little bit. Let them do the crawling. Remember that the only person you chase after is the ice cream man. Um, they will give you that chance um of having a new start a fresh beginning with them okay um but they need to get out of this stagnant sticky energy of i'm not acting on emotions i'm hiding away from them they have got emotions for you but they're just choosing not to act on it okay my beauties uh sending you tons of love look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon god bless Okay guys, deck number two, let's do this. So, as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. It go, we go into all your energy, we go into all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest energy between you all, okay? Right, think about your person for me. Can we get into the person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of your person. Tamen. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to do five cards for their thoughts, five cards for their feelings. Can you tell me what is their people thinking about the collective for their thoughts? Oh, I love this deck so much. What are they thinking? Like the first thing Spirit is saying is they know that you know more than you are letting on. So that's pretty cool. I just love this little, little doggy on that. I don't know if you saw uh, the, the guy, uh, I put some picture, a video of Poppy, my dog, at the end of one of the videos the other week. I know you guys haven't seen her since the moved house because we, we haven't got the same kind of setup here. Thoughts, what are they thinking? about the people watching. So I, put, I popped her on the end of the, the video for you. For what are they thinking? We'll best, we best have boo for them. Okay, and what are their feelings towards the people watching? What are their feelings? Three. Oh lordy. Four. <laughs> My guy just laughing at me then. Okay. It's interesting that both thoughts and feelings wanted six. Six cards, not five cards. Okay, so the first thing that I am getting is a song for you. This is uh I'm hearing the red hot chili peppers version under the bridge downtown. Can't actually remember what the song is called. Um but that song is coming really strongly into my energy for you guys. So in their thought process, they know that you know more about this connection than perhaps you are letting on, okay? They can see that you have, in the connection that you two have gone through, you've undergone some serious kind of changes, okay? You've really analysed, assessed, and found out that this connection between you guys is more of a spiritual connection. And they can really sense that about you. They've always found this connection to be quite magical. They've always found it to be quite, spirit saying, intermittent, that it can be a little bit on, a little bit off, a little bit stoppy, a little bit starty. But what they're finding right now is that the energy between the two of you, even though you still have this intermittence, 
it is more flowing. And the reason for that is because you lot watching have really gone through this awakening process and realized that there is more to this connection than meets the eye. And your person can sense that in you. So even if you haven't told them, even if you haven't spoke about it, they can sense that you know there is more to this connection than meets the eye. A lot of you are gonna be higher vibrational soulmates, you're gonna be twin flames, um, or you're going to be, be very spiritually connected. And again, that's kind of higher vibrational soulmates, okay? It's possible that some of you guys have got a bit of karma going on, um, but twin flames do still have karma and higher vibrational soulmates do still have karma because we've lived past lives together. So if you want a past life reading, give me a shout. We can, we can clear the energy between the two of you. So their thought process towards you at the moment, they're having this really oh, it's beautiful, they're having this wake up call about the connection. They have woken up or about to wake up and smell the coffee. Um, and when they do that, this connection between the two of you is gonna be magnified. Now, I've never seen the Hierophant and the High Priestess as a, a partnership. I have never seen that. But Spirit are really drawing me to this and saying partnership, okay? Um, and between the two of you, you have your Nine of Cups, your wishes coming true. This is like a faithful friend. This is someone that is a protecting of you, protecting of the relationship. They know, again, that perhaps they haven't been the best at, at handling this situation, but you've uh, undergone some very strong spiritual awakening and they've undergone or are about to undergo the changes. There's going to be a few dark nights of the soul coming forward here. They are really realising the truth of the situation, okay? And this is very much in their thought process. They're thinking through you guys coming together, potential house moves going on here as well. So if you guys are thinking of moving state or country or anything like that, you have this potential for house moving, but you also have this potential of a new romantic relationship. Your masculine and feminine energies, your sun and your moon are um, aligning with one another, okay? So your person is very much aware that they have these emotions for you. They're really feeling the truth of it. They're really seeing the truth of it and your energies are aligning with theirs. They are gonna come towards you with some kind of romantic offer, some kind of offer of this has got a future, this has got a chance, where do you want to go with this? And you have got this partnership heading in the right direction. And this is what they're thinking, you know? They're thinking they wanna be with you. They're thinking that this has got a really good chance. They're thinking that, oh my God, I don't know if I can actually live without this person. This is the person I wanna spend my life with. And with that, you have that offering. And this is where they are. their thought process currently is. They are gonna be communicating their emotions towards you. OK, they're really going to start talking to you about it with a longer term objective that you guys are going to be coming together. Now, the only little bit of a trigger here um, is that you guys want the same things, but you might go about it slightly different ways. OK, so this is just going to be differences in personalities. Um, this is just going to be the, diff the way you guys handle things that can be a little bit different from one another. But again, it's your balancing of your yin and yang, your duality, your light and dark, your good, your bad, you know. Uh, what does Sirius Black say? He said that we all have light and dark in us. It's, it's the side that we choose to act on that makes us who we really are. I love that quote. Um, but this is kind of essentially it, okay? It's just the duality of life. That's why we're here. We are here because of free will duality to live our lives, to live our purposes. Um, and so you have this kind of balancing of yours and it, your, your, blah, 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 yours and your person's energy. Um, but an offering is coming in. And, you know, this is an offer that's going to be bringing you guys to a more stable new beginning. And if you want to look at this card literally with the house and the doggy and the chair, um, this is everything that you guys want, you know, and your person knows that they want this as well. This connection is not something that they can easily hide from. They might have tried to hide from it in the past because they found it intense um, and electrifying and magnifying, but now there is no place for them to hide. Again, you both, you've definitely undergone some changes in your life. Um, especially, especially probably since you met your person. And through that, they've realized that this is something that they want to carry on with. This is a connection that they want to build, reconnect with, connect or connect with and establish it moving forward. And you have that communication coming forward that they're gonna be communicating with you an offer of a romantic new beginning with potential house moves. Um, I know some of you with regard to that might have a few, um, this is like one or two of you, so please don't take this the wrong way. Um, if, if it, you don't know about this, this doesn't involve you. Um, but there's a couple of people that might have a legal issue about um, moving or something along those lines or, or um, 
money, legal, something along those lines. So again, um, it, try not to let anything that might be earthly ruin the plans of you guys coming together because there is a way. When there's a will, there's a way, Spirit is saying, but they were just really drawing my attention that there might be some, for a couple of you, there might be a legal reason why it can't quite move in the right direction at the moment, but they do want it to go in the right direction. Your person wants to be with you. There is no doubt in that. They want this to work out between the two of you. Now, with their feelings for you, they have know that they've got to put the past to bed. Both of you have got to put the past to bed. Um, not just past with you and your person, but past with stuff that has happened with um, other people potentially as well. There is a need for forgiveness, okay? There is a need for forgiveness in their feelings for you. You either need to forgive them, they either need to forgive you or there's going to be stuff from the past that needs to be forgiven and that they are still perhaps clinging on to and it's stopping them moving themselves forward. They have worn a mask for quite some time around you. That mask is slowly fading away now, okay? The mask is going and they are starting to act on their emotions. Now, your person might be a little person that can get a little bit jealous, Okay, they can be a little bit jealous on occasions. Some of you guys might find that your person is a little bit material based, obsessed, and that might get on your wick, i.e. annoy you um, because you're thinking, well, you know, I'm spiritual. I'm not really into money, you know, so it might really um, annoy you that your person might be material based. And that could be, again, another reason that could be stagnating this energy. They might be saying, oh, I haven't got enough money. Well, we can't move in together because I haven't got enough money or yada, yada, yada. Um, and if it isn't to do with moving in together, it's just that they want the, the right foundation for you. Your person is a person that likes to be a provider, likes to be this kind of alpha energy, um, likes to be the strength in a relationship, a protector, provider. Um, and with that comes this little bit of jealousy as well. So even if they haven't spoke to you about being uh, that they might be jealous, they do watch what you are up to. They do see who you are communicating with, if, with and they do have this underlying little bit of possessiveness going on. Okay. They can see again over here um, that you guys can have a stable, secure new beginning. They will often act on logic. So even though they have these very strong emotions for you in their thought process, in their feelings, they will sometimes act on logic um, or often act on logic and are acting on stability. So they might be saying to you, okay, we're not, we're coming together, but I've got to sort this out first. I've got to do this first. And even if that's not the two of you coming together and it's your life plans and where you're going, i.e. babies and houses, this, they'll be saying to you, I need to sort this out first, I need to sort that out first, this, that, this, that. Um, go gentle with them, go with the flow of it because this is what they want. They do want to be with you. Um, you've got action towards a beautiful family unit, moving in the right direction. Um, really a few adventures, a few holidays coming up, probably not right now with the lockdown, um, but there are a few holidays and adventures coming up for you guys. At the moment, they are really contemplating this moving forward and they're contemplating, it's got a lovely feel to it, contemplating the directions that you guys can go in, you know? They're very happy to spend the rest of their life with you. They're very happy to spend this future with you. And even if they're like a little bit sticky and stagnant on it, again, it's because they're going to be wanting to achieve their goals first and um, they're going to want you to be a person that really helps um helps them to achieve their goals you know not someone that will sit there and say oh we, i need this and i need that they want you to um they they're going to want you to enhance their relationship and help them to become the person that they they are you know someone that's going to support them with their ambitions and their life goals and they really need that from you um they have a lot of hope that this is heading in the right direction so this is really, really cool. Um, your cards really are phenomenal. They're really good. Their thought process is all, I love you. I want to be with you. Let's have a go at this. Let's try and have a future. I can see us as a partnership. I've realized that perhaps I was an idiot in the past. I'm letting go of stuff that's happened in the past. And I'm trying to plan on us having a future in their feelings for you. Again, wanting to let go of the past, letting um, this mask go that they've perhaps been holding on to, potential of jealousy, wanting to be the provider, wanting to be the stable family unit, um, heading towards a stable family unit as well, really thinking through the actions of that stable family unit coming forward, um, sometimes acting on logic rather than their emotions. But again, it's because they want this providing energy. You're balancing your energies out. This is such a divine spiritual connection that is heading in, the, in a very positive direction for you both. 
you know it feels really really good it has a lovely excited feeling um in my stomach and i just got um a christmas tree so some of you guys this will be stepping forward in this kind of christmas energy this coming together at christmas is not going to be the same as perhaps it has been in the past okay you'll be spending a lot of you will be spending christmas with your person um whenever you watch this okay so whenever what whenever you whether you're watching this right now as i'm putting the video out or if you're watching it in you know, a year down the line um you and your person christmas is looking really positive that this is moving forward in the right direction for you guys they have got very strong feelings for you very strong feelings for you and they are really realizing it and the reason why they're realising it is because they felt this relationship transform and change. They felt it move in a more positive, positive direction and it started with you. You guys watching are in full abundance at the moment. Really be careful of what you are thinking. You know, if you start going on a negative spiral, remember you've only got 17 seconds for that to manifest into reality. So just be a little bit careful about your thought process. If you start going down a negative spiral, go and do something to distract yourself. Take the dog for a walk, blast out some tunes, have a dance, whatever it is that specifically makes you feel a better vibration. Um, but this is definitely heading in the right direction. Both their thoughts and feelings are all about you okay and that is deck number two so if you need me um i will put all the details in the description for you uh, my turnaround time is still down at this moment in time but it's going to come back up in any kind of day soon really um because england is starting to open up it's locked down and i've got a lot of people that um and appointments that i need to kind of get to so it's down at the moment but it's going to be going back up probably in the next couple of weeks so just awareness of that if you want a private reading i do 15 minute half hour and single questions and uh, single questions have a really fast response time of 24 to 48 hours um everything's on the website all the details are on the website uh, the different types of readings etc i do are all on the website and uh, and that's it so have a really good week guys and i will speak to you soon lots of love god bless and take care of yourselves and more importantly take care of each other lots of love guys bye